welcome to the park in Kensington Market. Uh, today we're going to talk about wrapping up to play with shorter poi. This is when you're playing, you can wrap the poi up to come in the buzzsaw and all these other fun things you can do inside your arms where the poi do not hit you. Right? Lots to learn and there's some great stuff to play with once you realize what's available to you. First thing that's important to look at is basically there's two ways to wrap up. One is what you can call wrapping up towards the thumb, which you can do by wrapping, uh, spinning outwards. So if you spin in front of you, you spin outwards. And if you just open your hand, it wraps around your hand and ends up at your thumb where you can grab it. You can also spin the poi inwards and you open your hand and that wraps around your hand but you would end up holding it at your pinky. So that's wrapping towards your pinky. Which is also great because you can do, uh, if you're wrapping towards your pinky, you can wrap up and bounce. Or you can wrap up and hold, but that's a bit awkward, as you can imagine. So we're going to be focusing mostly here on wrapping up towards the thumb into the, uh, why some of it's called a key grip, because you're holding it the way you'd hold a key. So pretty easy at first. Uh, I mean, all you need to do is grab your poi. If you spin backwards, you know, both poi split time and you open your hands and they wrap up and you're playing short and you can do all your cool buzz stuff, right? And then you can go forwards, you turn and you're spinning forwards, open your hands and they unwrap. So that's in the beginning the easy way to do it. You wrap up here and you unwrap here. So you gotta hang of that. It might take some days, I mean, who knows. But once you uh, are getting comfortable with that, you'll realize that actually there's a lot more available to you. Because say you're going forwards in a forwards weave, when your arms are at their own side, they would wrap towards the pinky. But if you just cross your arms over and stay crossed, that wraps up towards your thumb. So that is a great way to wrap up and get the poise shorter. And vice versa, if you're spinning backwards, on, the own si on your own side, on the arm's own side, they wrap up shorter, but crossed, they unwrap. So whether you're spinning forwards or backwards, you can wrap up and unwrap, simply by just making the choice on whether your arms are crossed or uncrossed. So as long as you play with that, you wrap up and you unwrap. You wrap up and you unwrap forwards and backwards, you start getting a hang of it and you'll, you'll get an intuition with it. So pretty soon, you want it to think about it, it'll just, you'll just be able to do it. So when, once all that works, you can start expanding into pretty much any movement pattern you do, you can figure out where you can wrap up and unwrap in it. So I mean, if you're doing butterfly, you know, and you're kind of passing it behind you, if it's an inwards butterfly, in front of you it's going to wrap towards the pinky. But behind you, it's going to wrap towards the thumb. Right? So if you want to wrap up, you just can do a wrap every time it's behind you. Wrap and wrap right? until you're at the, at the length you want. When you get at that, you can start doing things like while you're in the middle of a pattern, like while you're in the middle of a Mexican wave, right? you can do maybe two on each side and you wrap up that way. Or uh, you know, if you're in a weave, you just find the little places where it can wrap and while you're doing the weave, it just magically wraps up. So just grab your poi and start with one and start doing front, behind, at the side, seeing how all that works. Start playing with two. Give yourself lots of time with this because it, uh, it does take a while to develop. And definitely come in and really focus on the hand and just notice exactly where you wrap, uh, whether you're out towards your fingers or whether you're right up above your knuckles because that's going to make the big difference in whether your how many wraps gets to pull all the way wrapped up. And also the only other thing is remember you don't have to go around your whole hand. You could also wrap around say two fingers and then you can really fine tune. So you could go once and then two fingers you know, if that gives you your perfect buzzsaw length. And all that will just kind of come as you play. So, that's wrapping up. 
And speaking of wrapping up, let's wrap up with uh, bringing your attention to the Bixie bike stand behind us, which is our sign of intelligent life today. And we can, uh, we can sort of crossfade to up here over here. What we have here is a pretty happy new addition to the life uh, of Toronto, which is a Bixie bike stand. There are now Bixie bike stands all over the downtown core, every couple blocks. And a Bixie bike stand means that if you buy a membership or if you pay for every time you use, you can grab yourself a bike whenever it's convenient, use it for up to 30 minutes with no uh, extra fees, and pop it back into a Bixie bike stand where you're going. It's a new project in Toronto. Uh, it, uh, in London and Montreal, there are hundreds of Bixie bike stands all over those cities uh, with 6,000 Bixie bikes in each city which means you can get anywhere you want to go by using a Bixie bike. <clears throat> um, it just launched in spring in Toronto, which is really exciting. Right now, it's only in the downtown core, but if it goes over well, they're going to expand it and put them throughout the entire city so you can get all over the place. And uh, if they add bike lanes, a better system of bike lanes, then we'll really start uh, kicking butt as cyclists in Toronto. So, to me, that's a sign of intelligent life. And we'll be adding more signs of intelligent life in coming videos. And if you want more information on Bixie bikes and the whole bicycle movement, we've provided a few links on the website. So uh, I'm going to jump on my own bike, which is not a Bixie bike, and uh, we'll have more videos soon.